Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a, another Lake Chida, North Dakota mod, map uh, update. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what's been done. And then uh, we're going to maybe do a couple of fields quick. And uh, then uh, that'll probably be it. So first off, we'll jump up into the PDA camera view. As you guys can see, I have all of the roadways. Um, these are all of the main gravel roads. I do have them all finished up. So those are done. And so now we can, uh, now I can just roll through on getting fields done. As you guys can see, uh, there are a lot of different sizes, shapes, that sort of thing when it comes to these fields. Um, I mean, they are just all sorts of different. I mean, you got little fields like this. You got big fields. Definitely quite the... Uh, assortment of things here and then you got fields where they got waterways fields of rock piles um, this one there is a farmyard right here and a bin site right here so I mean just all kinds of things you got tree rows like this field here so there's definitely a quite the uh, assortment of fields. So I got this field here mapped out and we're just gonna go ahead and finish it up, get the uh, corners done. And then uh, maybe we'll throw in another couple of fields here. Because the next two fields I'm gonna do are gonna be Pretty fairly quick and easy, so. Now, I know I've mentioned this uh, in the past a couple of times now, but uh, just going to mention it again for anyone new to uh, what's going on here. Um, this is a work in progress there is no uh, set time of when this will be even remotely close to complete um, so I mean it it's it's a big work in progress uh, especially for me I mean I haven't this is the first time I've done any kind of mapping work in quite a long time so it's definitely going to take me a little while to get back in you know it it has taken me already a little while to get back into the hang of things um you know remembering some of the things in giants editor and then also figuring out some of the new things to giants editor so, <clears throat> definitely uh, a little bit of a learning curve right now, but, uh, you know, that'll happen every once in a while. <clears throat> so, um, I have not decided if I'm going to release this or not um, like I mentioned before if I do the map will be PC only uh, there is not going to be a console version of it um, because I'm more than likely not going to be uploading this to the Giants Mod Hub if I do release it. It'll probably just be uploaded, I don't know, somewhere. Maybe I'll make an 
itch.io page or something and uh, put it on there but we shall see Um, some of the things that this map's going to have, uh, it's going to have many different farms kind of scattered throughout the map. Um, some of them will be grain farms. Some of them will be just, you know, cow farms. And some of them will be a combination of both. Uh, there will be smaller kind of old school farm yards. And then there will be big, giant, modern farmyards. So there's definitely going to be an, uh, you know, a variety of things here. Um, you know, it's it's not going to be just two, three farmyards. I mean, there's there's going to be quite a few farmyards on here. So. Um, It'll just kind of be something neat. Um, it will have all of the base game crops. And then I want to look into adding flax. Uh, for sure flax. And then I want to uh, get the canola swathable as well. Um, as well as the flax too then. I may potentially add peas. I have not decided on that yet. Um, but it is a possibility. And then... Um, But anyhow, um, and then I want to try and incorporate, um, alfalfa into it as well. Oops, I need to do this first. Um. I want to incorporate alfalfa as well as uh, as well as clover but I want to try and figure out a way to get it so that you can actually you know take advantage of that those products whereas um, you know like UMRV it's got alfalfa, clover, that sort of thing on it. But I, what I have found is you can't do anything with it. Um, feeder wagons don't accept it. You know, it, it, in a way, it's pointless. Um, you know, it's... A waste of time to even run it. Um, I don't know if it's just me. You know, I I haven't really played a whole lot around. You know, played around with it a whole lot to really sit and spend some time dealing with it, trying to figure it out. Um, I mean, maybe there's some script mod out there that you know you can download that allows it to work or maybe there's some modded um, feeder wagons out there that you know it that have it as a fill type I'm really not too sure
yeah, so there are going to be a lot of different features of the map. Um, you know, a lot of things I want to do to it. And I want to just take the time to do it right. Do it right the first time and make it super detailed and add a lot of cool things. Um, one thing I do want to learn how to do is make custom soil maps uh, for precision farming. Um, I am going to get the map so that it is anhydrous. You know, it is set up to work with the anhydrous ammonia. Um, maybe that did not work. Um, so then that all works and yeah and then I want to try and see you know there's going to be a lot of empty land on this map and a lot of it's because it's pasture land so I'd like to set it up to where you can put your cows in a pasture and then I mean, it'd be neat if you could set it up so that you put them out to pasture in the summer and you don't have to feed them. Um, I'm not sure if there would be any kind of way to go about doing that. Probably not, just because of the way that farm sim works. But I could be wrong. One thing that's definitely going to be interesting is planning out all of the section lines and field entrances for all of these fields. That is definitely going to be a little interesting. So we'll get uh, these fields finished and then probably be good. And then we'll probably uh, call it a video and the next update will probably come out after all of the fields are completely finished. Because after, after the fields are done then I can go through and I can put grass um, everywhere around the fields, up to the fields, all that, uh, basically over the whole map. And then once the fields and putting down all the grass is finished, then I will be able to uh, put my DEM terrain file back in and get our terrain brought in and then it'll be the fun process of smoothing every bit of it out. It's going to be a long process to do. Um, I do already at this moment, actually I made the DEM, uh, the same time I made the uh, image to kind of go off of. I mean, I am for the most part, but of course there's, you know, some differences. I mean, some of the fields um, have just little grass spots in them that I'm not putting in um, 
at least not at the moment. I mean, I may, when I go back in and I'm adjusting things and, you know, adding in a lot of the details, then I'll probably be going back and changing some stuff and adjusting things, that sort of fun stuff, but we'll see. It'll get there in time. A lot of work to be done here. There we have it. Um, there's another area done, I think. Yep. Perfect. So that means I can move on over to here. Now, does this not go? sense kind of forgot that that was set up that way but alrighty well that's probably gonna do it uh, for this update like I said I probably won't have another one until all the rest of these fields are done and uh, have some other stuff done so hope y'all are enjoying uh, checking this out and uh, you guys give me your feedback on what you guys think for how you guys think this is going to end up being. Um, if you guys think that this is going to be kind of a neat looking map uh, when it's all said and done. And uh, yeah, so hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And uh, be sure to check out the video from earlier over on Edgewater and check out all the other videos. We'll see you all later.